why did he kill Amnon? Because he had harbored that bitterness for two years. Is it two years is, is a full cycle. Remember Joseph, after two full years, then the, the butler remembered Joseph after two full years. This one, after two full years, he was still harboring what Amnon did without saying a word to Amnon. He said, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how bitterness comes. When you don't confront issues and you pretend that it's okay, or you think I'll just avoid the person and that, that, that's okay, it's still there. You are not healed of the bitterness. But, and do and you know why Aslan was doing that? Because he was proud, because he was handsome. His hair, your, your hair can represent your glory. Okay, that's for women. But Samson's hair represented strength. Her hair, his hair was unique. Whole of Israel. So it was pride. And let me tell you why it was pride. Come to 2 Samuel 18, verse 9 to 10. Look at how Absalom died. The end of bitterness. The very hair that was a source of pride was his problem. And because he was bitter against Amnon, you know, it's like they say that when the gods want to kill you, they first make you what? It's, it's a saying. When the gods want to kill you, end your life, they first make you mad. So the bitterness blinded him. To the extent that it got to a point he was seeking to overthrow David, his father. And that's what brought his end. When he started marching forces to fight his father David. Look what happened. Then Aslan met the servants of David. Aslan rode on a mule. You know a mule? A mule is a hybrid between a horse and a donkey. When they use a horse to cross a donkey, it's against a lot of the law of creation. And so moose don't reproduce after their kind. A moose can never reproduce. So when you create a moose, it's, it's, it's man-made. When you create it, it cannot cross another animal to reproduce a small moose. So moose are only created. They don't reproduce. As long as riding a moose on a moose, when you have, you have bitterness, that's how you look like. You can be marking time, no progress. You can be marking time for many, 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 many days, many months, because you refuse to let go. And you are riding the moon. Nothing will be working. The moon went under the top bow of the great terebinth tree, and his head caught in the terebinth. So he was left hanging between heaven and the earth. Do you understand that? Heaven rejected him. Earth also rejected him. You see, this is Father's Day. Let me tell you something. When you fight the one over you, your father, heaven rejects you. Earth also rejects you. A sin against a father is a sin against heaven. That's why he said, Let I will turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers, lest I smite the earth with a curse. If you understand fatherhood, you will know that fatherhood is a source of life. For this one, he was left hanging. When you look at Luke 15, 2021, 20, you will see the prodigal son when he rebelled against the father and he was coming back. What he said, 21, he said, and the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. A sin against a father is a sin against heaven. There are some, some battles don't attempt to fight. 
you will not you will not win don't fight authority figures in your life it, you will lose it's a sin against heaven and in your sight and i'm no longer worthy to be called your son so don't fight your father don't fight the best you see there are, there are some fathers who may not may not be a good example to you or may have done something bad but never fight them never fight them you won't win god is a god of principles never fight them look at Absalom's end and he was pride because his hair was so beautiful and he was so handsome you see i am i am and that's how he ended and the lesson is that we should be careful of bitterness because it's only a matter of time when you don't confront issues you will harbor them when you harbor them they will grow become strongholds and fight against the knowledge of god now sometimes you may deceive yourself thinking that you are not bitter. Oh, I'm not bitter. Oh, me, I'm not bitter. <laughs> but you are bitter. A bitter person will not likely accept that he is bitter. If I say you're bitter, you say, oh, no, I'm not bitter. No, I'm, I mean, I've, I've just, I'm just being so careful. So I've just decided not to even cross his path again. But why? Because when you cross the spark, it will bring you pain. Once the pain is still there, you are not you are still bitter.